Okay, guys, what's up? It's Jake or Jacob, whichever you want to call me. It's up to you. The only person that's called me Jacob to my face in the last 20 years is my mum. So make up your mind as you see fit. But what we're going to do today is look back at a guy called Matthew Bowling. Um, the first time I saw him, the first time I created a reaction video and brought it to my channel was about a year ago. That video has gone relatively well. In fact, it's brought in a fair few new subscribers. And I love speed. I love out and out speed. There's, there's literally no two ways about it. I do not even know what else I need to say. If you saw the last video I created, it was on Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is an absolute living legend in my opinion. He is, he is more so, let me just put it this way. He's more of a legend to me, or as much of a legend to me, as the late great Jonah Lomu. Okay, that is how much I enjoyed following his career. And to think that we might have another guy almost as dominant at such a young age, you know, in front of us here is just an amazing feeling. I can't, I, I honestly can't ex contain my excitement. And I certainly can't contain my excitement when it comes to these two videos that we're going to watch. So there's one titled, honestly, I've been saving these for like four days. There's one titled Mesh mash you <laughs> mash potatoes no it's matthew matthew bowling shocks the world the 2021 carolina challenge 400 meters now that piqued my interest because we all know that matthew bowling is is swift we know he's good over the 100 meters and the 200 meters but we don't know what he's like over the 400 and to think that he might go one more you know up usain bolt he might actually be if, if he can well you know what it's so hard to perform at the Olympic Games in the final. Do you know what I mean? Yes, you can go to the Diamond League. Yes, you can go to the World Championships. But nothing's like... There's no pressure like the Olympic Games, and especially at the final. So for Usain Bolt to actually do that three times in a row for the 100 meters and the 200 meter dash is absolutely legendary. Now, to think, like I said at the start, that we might have a guy here who has a chance of doing that again, but possibly even going one more and going for the three peak, the 100 meters, the 200 meters, and the 400 meters. Now, don't worry about doing it three times like Usain did. If you can do that just once, you will go down in history. You will become a living legend instantly. It's kind of like uh, Michael Phelps. It was around the turn of the, the 2010 um, decade, 2008, 2012, uh, both Usain Bolt and Michael Phelps were dominating their respective fields and to be a fan watching that at the time was something I'll never forget. They're just, like I keep saying, they're just absolute legends. So with all that being said, we're about to watch the first of the two videos. It's Matthew Bowling shocks the world at the 2021 Carolina Challenge 400 meters. This is going to be absolutely epic. Now, there is one call that I made in one of my last videos about Matthew Bowling and about his running style. It did remind me of Usain Bolt. It did. He's certainly not as tall. He's not going to be six foot five, but he's just as lean. And his style, his style, his stride length, and the way that he gets up to speed just reminds me. I just can't go past it. I can't really explain it. It just reminds me of Usain Bolt. And with this guy being so fast, it really doesn't surprise me. So with all that being said, let's have a look at his 400 meter dash at the Carolina Challenge 400 meters. It's been almost an entire year since his last race. But January 23rd. Finally, the young sprinting prodigy Matthew Bowling has once again returned to the track. And yes, he is still dominating his competition. In the men's indoor 400 meters, he ran a time of 45.51 seconds, which is not only the fastest time in the NCAA this season. It's only a 200 meter track, right? It's a 200 meter track. That's going to be slower than normal. I'm hoping he does a 400 meter on a normal track. But it's also currently the second fastest time in the entire world. What? Well, that's th this competition was held on the 20 23rd of January. And that's only in the first month of the year. So that's a bit of a clickbait title, really, isn't it? But, hey, not a bad title to hold. Not a bad title to hold at all, even if it is going to be brief. Matthew Bowling, 20th of June 2000. He's 20 years of age. 
USA, South Carolina Indoor Track and Field Complex on the 23rd of January. Ran a 4.5.51. This 4, powerful 5. and effortless return to form was quite the jaw-dropping race, and throughout this entire 400 meters, he looked strong, determined, and very much ready for a fast time. Through the opening 200 meters, he split a time of approximately 20.97 seconds. This blistering opening 200 opened up a massive gap on the chase pack, and over the final lap of this indoor race, he was able to cruise okay. home to quite the... Com I'm just making an observation here. I haven't really seen indoor tracks before, but if this is 200 meters, then my argument before about there being more turns, more corners, so it's going to be harder, might slow them down. I feel like that is combated slightly by the raised angle of the corners so when you are turning you can kind of get a little bit of a lean on and you might actually get some assistance um, when coming out of the corner now that's just an observation take from it what you will but let's continue compelling victory still just 20 years of age Bowling has now cemented his name as a real Olympic contender for the Tokyo Games. And given the fact that oh this my was God, his I very first 400 of 2021, I can only imagine how fast he'll go over the next few months. I hope he is in the Olympic Games. Now, to give you an idea at just how fast this 45.51 truly is, let's take a trip back to 1992. During this 92 season, Steve Lewis from the United States ran an indoor 400 in 45.53 which is almost the exact same time as Matthew Bowling this year. This time was quite the performance for 1992, and as Lewis's season progressed, he actually went on to win the Olympic silver medal in Barcelona, running a time of 44.21 in the 400 meter finals. Indeed, this 45.53 was but a pre- Okay, yes, because the world record is still 43.18. God, I can't remember now. 43.18, I think. Michael Johnson, 400 meter world record. So if Matthew Bowling is running a 45.51, he needs to shave off probably a good second, you know, 44, the mid 44s, and he'd be really in with a shot at the Olympic Games, at least making the Olympic Game team. Because I think there's a qualifying time. In fact, let's try and see what that is. Michael Johnson is widely regarded as one of the greatest sprinters of all time. In the 90s, the four-time Olympic gold medalist dominated the 200 and 400, going an incredible seven years undefeated in the latter. He went seven years undefeated in the 400 meters. So what were his times? He won gold in Sydney at the Sydney Olympics in 2000 in 43.84. He won gold four years earlier in Atlanta in 43.49 and he was part of the 4x400 four, four meter relay team in Barcelona that won the gold medal also. He is a four time gold medalist. He's the world record holder but neither of his gold medal runs were the world record time. If Matthew Bowling can, I'm going to say it right here right now, if Matthew Bowling can somehow clock a 44.3 second 400 meters he might even win an Olympic medal to his Olympic success just a few months later. However, for Bowling's time, we can see that he is quickly joining the ranks with some of the fastest athletes in history. If we compare this 45.51 to all previous indoor world championships, this time actually would have earned him the gold medal in 2010, 2008, and also in nine additional indoor world championships. <gasps> this means that out of the 18 editions of the indoor world championships, Bowling's time would have been his first. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. So again, so, oh my god. Okay, so guys who literally do train for the indoor event specifically, he's still smashing them? You are joking. This is incredible. I'm shocked by that. 11 of them, which is simply incredible. You're Even not this wrong. Powerful fact. The question now is can Bowling continue to improve? What a specimen. What a specimen. Look after this guy, please. Bowling Coaches out there, look after this man. Split in the mid's four by Don't push him too hard too early. He needs he Upon needs to receiving the baton. He had a few meters on his closest Okay, what's going to happen here? Four. But after completing his stellar 400 leg of 45.25 seconds, there was no one else even in camera shot. 
<laughs> By my estimation, he was around five to seven meters ahead when he started his leg. But after he was done, the gap was approximately 20 meters. Wow. Or maybe even a little bit more. Clearly, this was a big showcasing of his natural Oh, his, his strides are just so big. It just, that he ran this season, it's effortless. It clearly shows that he's getting ready for the Olympic Games. I can't see exactly why dash, it's so quick. Also ran a time of 6.64 <gasps> seconds. Okay, he's worked on his start. I didn't even know which one he was. Let's have a look at that again. Meter dash. Bowling also ran a mm, that is so good. He's staying low. But his greatest weapon is when is exactly like Usain Bolt when he gets up to top speed. So let's have a look. We always knew if at the 20 meter or 30 meter mark, if Usain Bolt was in the mix up the front, he was going to win. And to see that... Matthew Bowling is at the front so early in the race is really nice to see and let's just see how it, how the rest of it goes because I haven't seen it yet. Time of 6.64 seconds which not only took down mm, the entire field Shit man I gotta be honest man a couple of those guys kept up pretty damn well Again but it was also a new personal record He's only just gone to college it's his first year at college In previous races he's had a few struggles with his start as it often takes him a few strides to really get into it. That's exactly what I said! ...was running. However, this 60 meter dash proves beyond any... That's exactly what I fucking said! You're kidding me, mate. Come on, you're taking the words right out of my mouth. ...doubt that he has been focused... I'm so glad I said that. You don't know how fucking glad I am that I've said those, <laughs> those things, guys. ...seeing intensely on his start... Oh, yes, he has been. I loved watching that start. Absolutely did. Just as much as you did, mate. ...making him a formidable sprinter from 60 Sick. meters up to the 400 meters. Oh, mate. With this newfound explosive speed and his obvious 400 meter strength, what exactly are Bowling's chances for the 2021 Olympic Games? Good. Over the past year, we've highlighted his Olympic possibilities in many distances, and while he is... <laughs> he is events, a beast! 400 meters just might be his best bet. Through the entire history of the Indoor 400, only nine athletes have ever run under 45 seconds. And while he is still half a second away from this barrier, I fully believe he is ready to run this time. After this year's Indoor season, I am predicting that bowling will continue to improve and move on to many sub-45 second 400s. This would certainly make him competitive against any other athlete throughout the entire world, but honestly, he is more than ready to take on his task. I'm so jealous Since right now. Since 2019, Bowling's running career has been amazing. In addition to achieving fantastic times, I've seen this clip. he also managed an incomparable quadruple gold medal in the 2019 Pan American Championships. And he also managed to break the under-20 world record in both of his relay races. For two straight years, he has been one of the most exciting young athletes in the entire world. But now, with the Olympic Games just around the corner, does he have what it takes to make the Olympic team? Oh my god, please. Do it, bro. Thanks for watching. Do it for us. Do it for me. Until next time. Do it for this YouTube channel so I've got something to react to. Okay, guys. Oh my god, I really enjoyed that. Oh shit. I really, really enjoyed that. Probably more than I expected to. But that is my wonder, my absolute wonder and awe of, of out and out speed. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's what this guy has in spades. It's super exciting. I can't wait to see him. And the next video we're going to watch is on the same guy, but it's, it's the 200 meter dash. Actually, it's a different, I think it's a different competition. I think it's, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. You thought his 45.51 season opener in the 400 meters was impressive. And the rest I'll complete in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm pushing for 150,000 subs. And with your help, I can do that. So, cheers. And peace out.